This investigation, there's one question that a lot of people have been having, and that's about Governor Rick Snyder. When will he be charged? Well, today, they told me this investigation isn't over, but Attorney General Bill Schuette tells me that this is a big turning point in this case, and it's not the end, though. When I asked him when the end will be, when will this all wrap up, he told me when he feels he has justice for the people of Flint. These charges reflect the deaths which have occurred and the conduct which caused these deaths in the city of Flint. We will go where the evidence leads us. While some serious charges have been handed down to current and former city and state leaders, the question now is what about Governor Rick Snyder? And we attempted to uh, interview the, the, the governor. It was, we were not successful. Uh, uh, and I'll just leave it at that. Right now, the leader of the state remains in the clear. But with this investigation continuing so, with the attorney general's office, there. more charges could You're be coming down. We only file charges when we have sufficient evidence to believe the probable cause that a crime has been committed. We don't have a checklist of who we, we want to uh, charge. That's not how it goes. The charge of involuntary manslaughter against these five people means these former and current state and local leaders could end up locked up for up to 15 years in prison if they're found guilty. I do not take this day as a joyous day. Todd Flood is part of the investigation team hired by Shooty and charged with finding those accountable for the drinking water crisis in Flint. He tells me none of this, though, changes what happens. Wish we could turn back the hands of time, but we can't. Stephanie, where does the investigation go now? You know, there could be more charges coming down, but we just won't know. Pretty much only time will tell at this point. What the attorney general is telling me, though, Bill, is this is starting to shift into a prosecution phase with this investigation. That's because to date now, they've issued 51 criminal charges. So, of course, we'll continue to follow this. A few of these folks are expected in court tomorrow, so be sure to follow us for the latest developments with it. All right, Stephanie, thank you so much.